Ontario in New York's Yes FM. Miss Calvin Harris feels so close at 707 talking to Renewal House because April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month talking about your kids. Um, somebody posted at Facebook about the subject of uh, when to tell your kids and, and she has suffered through this at the age of 11, family member, and we talked about, you know, off air about family members, how difficult it is um, to, to bring this up to your parents. Yes, uh, we were talking about the repercussions, um, the fact that what if somebody doesn't believe us? Um, when I go in the classrooms, I even talk to them about sometimes being threatened, you know, if you're going to be hurt or the family members around you are going to be hurt because of what you tell. And we explain that everyone has the right to tell and ask for help, even if it is a family member, even if it is scary, even if it's someone that you trusted and loved, even if you're trying to piece this together yourself, it's still okay to ask for help and to talk to someone about it. Should should you as a, you know, 10, 11, 12 year old, when going to, you know, your parents about a family member and they don't do much about it, they say, well, let me let me take care of it. I'll, I'll, I'll find out what's happening. And, and, and the abuse continues, should you then go somewhere else? Yes, definitely. A teacher, a principal, anyone through the school districts uh, will be able to reach out and help you. Another adult that you trust, um, aunts, uncles, grandparents, just talking to someone until you get the help that you deserve. And if you are a parent and a child comes to you with that information, the best thing is to clearly communicate to that child that you are working on. Um, you will actually work on um, getting to the bottom of it, that you will work on protecting them because if you show that you are not working on it or you you don't take it seriously or even don't believe them, then it shuts off their communication and they may not feel comfortable telling anybody else. Should you as a parent confront the perpetrator one-on-one -on -one, or should you involve other people? I would say not to confront the person one-on-one, -on -one, that sometimes taking it through law enforcement, reporting it, is taking you a bit out of the situation also um, to where the law can take it after that part. Okay. So so, so get, the, the, get the authorities involved, then they can get to the bottom of it. They can do the interviewing. They can do all of that then. I'd also like to point out that the greatest risk actually comes from friends and family with statistics. Um, it's not actual strangers usually that are perpetrating. It's 93% of victims actually know their abusers. Of that 93, 30 Four percent are abused by family members, and fifty-nine are by someone trusted by the family. So, when we're talking about the family response, it is very important. Is this something that that is coming out more in schools than it used to? I feel that schools are getting more involved than they used to, but I I feel that some of these children they've been dealing with this the whole time, and the schools are just getting a bit more involved, which is great. I was actually in Huvelton Central just recently. They had me in eight of their classrooms throughout the whole day, talking anywhere from pre-K pre to second grade, just about keeping our bodies safe. And the message needs to be out there. We had different people talking, and you could tell that it's something that they needed. There's questions asked, and there's a real interest in this topic. Okay. Um, th this is one of those things that, you know, back when I was a kid, we, we didn't, it wasn't discussed. Mm -hmm. It was, wasn't brought up in school. Um, there was nobody coming in special to talk about this. Mm -hmm. Teachers didn't talk about this. Mm -hmm. It was just, I, we didn't do it. I think educators it. are really opening their eyes to the different agencies that surround us, what we're able to offer, and how we can work together towards helping these children and how to stop making it so much kept in the dark, how we're allowed to talk about this, how it's not the, ch the child's responsibility to keep it a secret or an embarrassment. Because in reality, they did nothing wrong, and they deserve to talk about it. So I think we're all starting to realize how to work together and how to help more children and if in you want, St. Lawrence County. And if you want Renewal House to get involved and, and be at yep. your school. Yep. Just give us a call. I'm actually the educator um, and the child advocate. My name, again, is Elaine. So you can give us a call at 379-9845. We can set something up around the school schedule. And just we understand there's a real importance. We go anywhere from pre-K to 12th grade. We talk about keeping our bodies safe, family abuse, dating violence, sexual harassment. There's really a broad spectrum of the things that we try and cover and help people understand that the services we provide are open to everyone.
Okay. Going to talk about Denim Day, National Crime Victims Rights Week, and more. All coming up next. So what we get, we get.